In Vermont, and I think in many parts of this country, we have a real housing problem for low-income people. The cost of rent in many cases is much more than people can afford. People are spending 40, 50 percent of their limited incomes on rent. It's hard to talk about a crisis that's lasted for over 30 years. There really hasn't been any time where there has been a sufficient supply of affordable housing for low-income working Vermonters, uh, people with disabilities, uh, people living on fixed income. Housing is considered affordable if a family is paying no more than 30% of their income for their shelter costs. If you're a renter, that's rent and utilities. If you're a homeowner, um, that includes your mortgage, your taxes, your insurance. If you're paying more than 30% of your income for your shelter costs, then you don't have enough left over for basic life necessities. And especially if you're a renter, you're probably one paycheck or a one crisis, one big car repair away from being potentially homeless uh, as a result of not being able to pay your rent or um, one mortgage payment away from foreclosure. One of the biggest challenges for Vermonters who are trying to rent is finding an apartment that fits within their income that they can afford. We have a chronically low vacancy rate in the state. We would normally want there to be about 5% of the apartments as available to be able to be rented. And in Chittenden County and in many of our communities across the state, that vacancy rate can be as low as 1% or less. Wages have been stagnant in Vermont for so long and it really is directly impacting the housing market. We know that since 2010, wages in Vermont have gone up barely by 2% a year. And in some of our neighboring states, they're going up faster. Home prices are going up well over 2% a year, which makes it harder and harder every year for people to be able to afford housing. Our affordable housing crisis demands that we think big and act boldly. It's past time to make a historic and sustained commitment to ensure that every family has a safe, decent, affordable home. In the wealthiest country on earth, we should start by significantly expanding federal programs that help build and preserve affordable housing in Vermont and across the country. By ending the Section 8 waitlist, we can finally make rental assistance available to the thousands of Vermonters who need it. For only a fraction of the cost of Trump's tax cuts to the wealthy and corporations, we could end homelessness in America. Community land trusts like the successful Champlain Housing Trust in Vermont should be expanded so that working families can purchase homes at an affordable price and build wealth. People are starting to think that this is an intractable problem and nothing could be farther from the truth. We know what it takes to solve this problem and in Vermont and federally we need to make sure that we are addressing it from all fronts.